Peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will uh, expose the deception of Muslims when they speak about actually anything they speak about is nothing but deception. However, the topic today is about oppression. I'm not going to talk about many oppression, but you know, let us uh, because our video is time is limited, 15 minutes, so let us go and see what oppression we are going to talk about. God Almighty has told us clearly that he does not oppress and he hates it when we oppress and he forbids forbids humans to oppress each other let us see if this is true or it's false you know the the, the funny about muslims uh, yes they recite for you a verse from the quran and they say allah is against oppression but the fact all of islam is like you know is, is nothing but oppression this is story in front of us you can freeze the video and read it yourself so you can take your time i don't have time to read it all because we have many stories to show uh, in this story you see that muhammad telling the muslims and the muslim women muslim men and women that the most uh, uh, residents of the hellfire are women the majority of hellfire are women why they ask him why he said because you uh, 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 curse frequently and ungrateful to your husband so always always women in Islam they will be considered by all men you know if, if two men speak about women in Islam what they will say they will say what Muhammad said that women the most of you know like we say there's a woman she is uh, we don't like what she do then he will say well the Prophet he said most of them they will go to hell what you can do they are going to go to hell women are people of hell they are ungrateful and they curse a lot. Like, what about men? They don't curse. Well, uh, is, is, is Muslim men are grateful to their wife? No. If they are, they will not marry two and second and three and four. You, obviously, you are not grateful because you keep marrying more women. Because a woman, so the woman, she should be, you know, uh, uh, thankful, uh, grateful to her husband. But in Islam, the husband, he should not be grateful to his, uh, to his wife. Otherwise, why you keep marrying more women uh, uh, and using them as if they are sex toys? Simply in Islam, the women is nothing but a sex toy, baby generator, and a, a, dish, a dishwasher and cooker, a cook. That's it. In the same time, the same time, you oppress them and you say to them that you are a stupid. Look, I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence. And look, look how he insult the women and how he oppress them again. Because now any any Muslim he speak about women, he will say what the Prophet said that you are half a brain, you are stupid. So every Muslim right now treat women as a stupid creature, not equal to men, and they are. He do not need to, to discuss with the women if she is a stupid or not, because remember whatever Muhammad he say, it's like God talking. So if Muhammad says women they are they have a deficient in their intelligence, that's it. You have you know that's it. He's saying that. Who who dare to say you are wrong? The fact there's a lot of women, uh, a lot more smart than Muhammad himself. Who is Muhammad anyway? The one who said the sperm comes from the backbone and the ribs of the women, that is not smart. That is stupid. The man who said the, uh, 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 one verse that the Allah, Allah he created the, 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 the grass and the tree first and the other verse he said the opposite. He said the, the, the heaven first. So it, it, he don't have intelligence, but yet he is putting women down and he is causing them or accusing them to be stupid and have deficiency in their brain. However, even if this is true, let us say for the sake of argument, this is true. Now, is that a fault? Is that a reason for them to go to hell? Because if they have deficient in their intelligence, that means deficiency is coming from Allah. Isn't it him who created them? Isn't it Allah who created them? Why he did not make them smart? So they will go to hell. One of the reasons they will go to the hell because they have deficiency in their intelligence. That is the most stupid thing to say. Because you cannot, you cannot say, you will go to hell because the, the Creator He made you deficiency, have deficiency in your brain. That is the fault of Allah, not the fault of the women. Which is proving to me that Muhammad is a stupid one. It's not the women. Then we continue. Uh, here he say, uh, uh, in intelligence and religion. Even they have deficiency in their religion, not only in intelligence. Now they said to him, what is our in, like deficiency in uh, 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 intelligence or religion and religion? He said, look, the question is, what is our deficient in our religion and our intelligence? He said, this is the answer of Muhammad. Is it that not the evidence of two women equal to witness of one man? 
And this guy in the TV, he was saying to us, women, they are not oppressed. Women is not allowed even, you see, if in Islam, if there's 1,000 women, they witness a crime, their witnessing is not approved. At least there is, at least there is one man exist. And if there's one man exist, they will not go to women if there is other women, other men exist, which means women witnesses is the last thing to request. But in some cases, if there is only one man, and then we can take two women equal to one man. So in Islam, two women equal to one man, isn't this an oppression? Why you are making the man witness is equal to two women? You are making women uh, uh, not equal to the man, even in witnessing in the court, which is very simple to do. Actually, women, they have a sharp memory more than men when it's come to details. If you go with somebody, go with your wife to a party, to a wedding, to a dinner, and, and come back, we ask you what you ate, you don't remember. You ask the wife, she will tell you what everyone in the party was addressing, the perfume, the rings, the clothes, everything. They are the perfect witnesses, not the men. Stupid teaching. And you are telling me that you are not oppressing the women in the same time look and here he's saying aren't you don't you have a your period what period have to do with deficiency is that their fault too isn't it isn't it Allah supposedly the one who created them with period you see the stupidity deficiency in religion for Muhammad that then they have period that is the most stupid argument I can hear ever. Because this is not their choice. Secondly, having a period will not make them stupid. And, you know, he says you, you cannot pray when you have menses because you forbid them from praying. <laughs> you see how stupid he is? You know, he is the one who forbid them from praying during menses. And then he says to you, you have deficiency because you can't pray when you are having menses. Will allow them to pray when they have menses. Who, who's, who said to the unbelievable man? And then we continue. If the woman, she refused to go to bed with her husband, the angels will curse her all night until she come back to the bed. Isn't this an oppression? How come if the husband don't want to go to the wife, Allah will not curse him and the angels don't curse him? Only the women, if she refused to go to the husband's bed, Allah curse her and the angels until she came back. Remember, the Muslim man, he have many wives, which means he have many choices. But the Muslim women, if the husband don't come to the bed, she have no other choice. What she do? Use sex toy? How come Allah will curse the women, but he don't curse the man? Because Allah worked for the side of the man. Islam is made by the man for the benefit of the man. Let us continue. Oppression, huh? Let us see the oppression. What, what about oppression for the Christians? Actually, let us go back to this one later. Let us go here. Three things will bring the bad luck. A horse and a woman and the house. Isn't this an oppression? Why you are teaching people that women are bad luck? If women are bad luck, how come you, you have many of them in your house and you want more? They are bad luck, but you want to marry and more and more and more. Even any woman, she can give herself to you to sleep with you and you take her. But she is a bad luck. And you are telling me there is no oppression? Uh, Muhammad even he get involved with shaving hair including shaving the, the, the vagina area for the women he enforced women to shave their vagina and he told the Muslim men before you go to your home send somebody to your house if you are in, in, in trouble uh, uh, like you are let's say coming from war or etc uh, send somebody a messenger to your wife so she will shave her pubic area what kind of a prophet he is teaching such a teaching? What is your business between the man and the pubic area of his wife? What's wrong with you? What about the, 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 the prophet of Islam involving even in, in, in women hair in their face? If a woman she shave her hair, uh, if she unblock the hair from her face, Allah will curse her. Why, how come the Muslim man, he have to shave his mustache, and this is not a, cre a changing of the creation of Allah, and Muhammad, he color his hair blondie, he want to be blondie girl, but when the women, she take hair from her face, Allah curse her, 
Isn't it, this is oppression? Like, what do you, what's wrong with you? You want the women to look like a monkey? The Muslim man, he can shave his face, and the Muslim women, she cannot shave her mustache. There's many women, they are hairy. Oh, if you shave, if you take hair from your face, or you know, you make your eyebrows, Allah will curse you. Why? It's okay for the man to shave. It's okay for the man to color his hair blonde, like what Muhammad used to do, and the Muslims did do. But if the women, who is the one should do that, not the man, if she do that, Allah curse her. She is changing the way Allah make her look like. But when the man, he do that, he is not changing the way Allah make him look like. And you are telling me there is no oppression in Islam? All of it. You know, actually, if I want to count, it's endless. But now I want to go. I spoke enough about women. I'm not going to talk about the age of Aisha because we spoke about this many times. Aisha, she was six years old. She doesn't even know what marriage means. She doesn't know what virgin means. She doesn't know what private part means. She doesn't know what penis means. She is a kid who is playing with her dolls. What do you want to say to me? Islam is against oppression? If this man, he is a decent man, he should not think for a second. He has many wives already. He is enjoying his sex life. What he wants from a child? What about oppression for non-Muslims? There is tons of hadith made by Muhammad. As an example, this one. If you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, force them, humiliate them, and force them to the most narrow alley. All right? Because Muslims are not, because Muslims are not allowed to respect the Christians and the Jews, but the opposite, they have to humiliate them. They cannot honor them. And actually, by saying "Assalamu alaikum," you are honoring the people of the book. So Muslim were ordered to humiliate them. Who? Who them? The Christians and the Jews. And remember, those. This is not in a war time. Those are Christians and Jews live in Islamic state. The Prophet said, don't proceed or initiate salam to the Christian and the Jews. And if you for, if you meet any of them in, in the path, which means the way, force them to the most narrow uh, uh, alley, which means the, the, the sewage line. Like, have you ever seen more deception than Muslim deception? The women, she have half inheritance. The women, she can't be a witness. The women, she is nothing. This is not oppression. The women, she cannot even shave her face. The women, she can be... The man, he can beat his wife. Chapter 4, verse 34. This is not oppression. This is Islam which is against oppression. God bless you and I hope you learned enough to see how filthy, disgusting this satanic religion which all based on deception for the fool. Are you the fool? I hope you are not. Thank you. God bless.